Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this time I'm showing you this uh, S7300 Siemens PLC lab that I put together. The reason I did that was because I was just, you know, browsing around eBay and noticed that all the S7300 hardware was really cheap. So I went ahead and bought a large RAM CPU. This is a 316. Uh, to DP, which has an MPI and a DP port, uh, to which I attach this battery clip, so my program is not clear every time I power off the system. Um, I don't have a lithium battery, anyway. And bought a 16-bit uh, output card, discrete, two uh, discrete 16-bit input cards. That reason I got two is because there were in a bundle and they were really cheap. I think I paid for this, I paid $43 and this was like 12. These two were like 30 something, 35, I think. The analog input channel, dual analog input channel card, 12 bit each was, I believe something like 28, I think. All this plus shipping. Uh, I think one of the most, uh, yeah, this was 43. This here was 30 uh, something. I had to look it up. But on and on, it wasn't a lot of money. I mean, you got 43, uh, I forgot what these were, 12, uh, 30, uh, I guess less than, less than $200 in all. And then I already had the stepper. Uh, driver. I had already the output uh, to, you know, 24 volt optocoupler that I connect one byte to here. So it's 24 volts to 5 volts so I can drive my stepper and then I got 12 and 5 volt power supply and I had a stepper and an axis and a home switch and I got a potentiometer connected to my analog card here and the RS-232 uh, card is connected to this USB to RS-232 adapter. So, uh, so far the program that I have running is basically um, sending the string of values from um, the serial port um, here to a session open on PUTTY, which uh, is basically just sending a value. So you can see that the USB connected to one port. And every time you press a, you send a character to the PLC, it will reply back. So if you send this, it will reply back with whatever value, uh, whatever voltage is on this terminal here, uh, disconnected channel one. So channel one, and if you swing it a little bit, you get different voltage. Three volts now. I'm going to turn it a little bit more. There's 3.6, more, 3. Point something, 3.9, and then 4, a bit more. And I'm going to be a little bit more. I'm going to be a bit more. A bit more. And full voltage. Five. And if you turn it, dial it back down a bit more. Of course, dial it all the way back down. It's going to be close to zero there. So I got six decimal places, and it is some smart parsing on the PLC side. Um, if anyone's interested, I can probably upload uh, a zip file to my GitHub if I remember my credentials. Uh, if, if anyone's interested, just comment on the video and I can upload the whole project uh, to our GitHub. I'll try to do that if I can remember my credentials, like I said. And also another feature that's uh, written in the PLC2 is a stepper control, um, which uh, is activated when you uh, cycle. So if right now the stepper is free to move, I think I can 
displays it, right? It's disabled. So the stepper pulses are disabled. The stepper is not powered off. So, but if you were to restart the PLC this way, it's going to initiate a homing sequence. And it's quite noisy. I know, because I'm using this metallic. I think it's a inkjet printer um, print head thing um, that I repurposed a while ago. Um, so if you were to write, I'm going to turn this off here. That's the homing command. If I were to write a value, say, um, I don't know, 45, 450. That's going to actuate. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm online now on the table, so I'm just going to set the value. And as soon as I do that, you can see the stepper moving and the pulses here are counting up. Once it reaches that, it's going to stop. And that's halfway between its travel. You can go a little further, like, I don't know, 500. And then write that to the PLC. And that's really fast. I want to write, uh, I don't know, 75, 750, enter, and then write that. I mean, if you were, you know what, I want to clear this up, and then I'm going to rehome it. It's going to home it again. And of course, I'm limited by it's quite slow because I'm doing the pulsing using a 10 millisecond on and 10 millisecond off uh, push pull timer clock. So, you know, you're limited by I'm doing software control of the stepper. Um, but this is, like I said, a gym or, or a, a PLC. Um, sandbox where I can test stuff and revisit old hardware and is it was it's still it's really cool because I get to remember all the old uh ways of programming these really good PLCs that I do work with for many years in the past um they're not coming anymore everything is now you know to portal S7 1500, S7 1200, and beyond. So, um, but anyway, it's good to still tinker around with these old uh, pieces of historic PLC hardware. I hope you guys enjoy the video presentation. And if you're interested in the code, let me know in the comments below. And I'll try to post this on GitHub. Um, thank you for watching.